guys, welcome to a new vlog. Today is going to be a very exciting vlog because I had a company reach out to me. This video is hashtag not sponsored, but I did have a company reach out to me and it's a company that I followed on Instagram for a very long time and the company name is Classy Stages and if you're a teacher, you've probably seen their stuff on like Instagram or Etsy or whatever, um, but I love, love, love their company. They make stages and a bunch of my friends on YouTube have stages from them, so like um, Too Cool for Middle School and like Pocket Full of primary and I'm trying to think of who else I don't really know but a bunch of people have their stages and they're just really really neat well if you have been following my channel you know that I had a stage made for my classroom this summer by one of my co-workers and her husband and so I still follow classy stages but I didn't really need one for my room anymore so they reached out to me and they said hey Kim like we've been watching your channel we'd love to send you a stage and I was like oh my gosh no way that's so crazy because I've always wanted a stage from them, but I already have a stage. So I was thinking about it and I'm like, oh my gosh, it would be so fun to surprise my best friend Melissa with a stage because I absolutely adore mine and they have a bunch of different customizations that they can do on their stages. So they agreed to send a stage over for Melissa so I can surprise her with it. So it is Saturday right now, it's October 5 and I'm here in my classroom. I just got here, I haven't even taken off my coat yet because I'm so excited. I am going to get my wagon outside and I'm going to load up the stage. It was shipped to me and it came in yesterday or the day before, I think. And anyways, Melissa's gonna be here in probably like an hour or so, so I kinda wanna get it set up in her room so that way when she gets here, she can just be like surprised and see it. So anyways, I'm gonna go do that right now. I'm gonna bring it in and then I'm gonna try to get it all set up in her room before she gets here. So I will try to film her reaction. I'm hoping that I'll be in her room when she comes in. I might just like bring my stuff in there and work in there and then like close the door so then I can get her reaction when she like unlocks the door and comes in. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So anyways, I will see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> okay, so I have the box. It's right here and I'm gonna try to get it set up before she gets here, which I think she's gonna be here like possibly soonish. I don't really know. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it up here in this area and then if she wants to move it, she always can. So her room is so cute. <laughs> I love it. It's like so colorful and fun. Okay, let's do this. Okay, you guys, so here is the stage. It's so, so cute. And I just put it right in front of her whiteboard so the kids can like be closer to the whiteboard. But then also she can open it up and there's some storage space in here. They also included a couple of their cards. So if you're interested, check it out. Here, I'll put it like that. That is seriously just the coolest thing, Lo. I'm like so excited. I hope she likes it. I know she will. <laughs> Very exciting. It's just like made really well. I'm like kind of amazed that they were able to ship this like all put together. It looks so nice. All right, you guys. Melissa just texted me that she's here. So I'm in her room hiding. Except for I just told her that I'm in her room. So I'm not really hiding. But I'm in here now. And here she comes. And I'm so excited. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Come here. I'm scared. Don't be scared. Oh, okay. It's back here. <laughs> what do you think? Oh. <laughs> do you like it? Yes. <laughs> Isn't it cute? It's so petite. I know. Isn't Wait, it cute? Wait, did Michelle and Tony make it? No, it's from Classy Stages. Oh, cute. Mom, oh, she doesn't want to be That's okay. Video, but. but do you like it? Wow. Look at it open. This will give me authority. <laughs> Isn't that wow. cute? Wait, this is so nice. Do you follow Classy Stages? You know who I'm talking about on Instagram? No. Who, like, does that giveaway? So that's okay. Oh, my gosh. Yay. Wow, thanks. Yeah. Inspirational quote. Yeah, here you have to stand on it. 
Oh, yeah, okay. You can always move it, too. I just thought that would be a good spot. <gasps> wow, look at your wow, height. Oh, wait, here, let me go back a little bit. Okay, do it again, do it again. Do the... Yay! <laughs> Hello, sweet friends. So, it is now November 12, which is, like, worlds later than the other clips that you just saw. Um, I apologize. October was a whirlwind of a month. It just... Ended up being crazy busy, and I know last year, that time of year, it was crazy busy too with like all the 10 million different things that were going on. But then on top of like conferences and just school stuff, like report cards and all that, I also had some personal things going on as well that kept me busy. And so anyways, I kind of let YouTube just like fall onto the back burner. So I apologize, but I am back. I am here in my classroom right now and I actually have a snow day today, which was really exciting because I have been so busy, you guys, like <sighs> so busy. And so waking up this morning and finding out that I didn't have to come into school was pretty exciting. So it's like a little bit past 11 a.m. right now, I think. And this morning I got to make myself breakfast and watch some YouTube videos and drink hot coffee, which like never happens during the school week. And did like some dishes edited what you saw of this video so far. I don't know, I feel like I did some other stuff too, but basically I got some stuff done, so that was a good feeling. So um, I am feeling much, much better with this snow day. It definitely came at the right time because I have been feeling very, very overwhelmed the past several weeks and it just really hasn't slowed down. And so this was perfect timing. I actually wasn't sure if I was going to come into school today or not, but I realized I had accidentally left my camera at school. So I did want to film and so I decided to come in here and then it was fine because like all of my teachers manuals and stuff are here and I was thinking I would start looking ahead toward next week and maybe do some planning today for next week so I can get a little bit ahead of the game so plus I just like coming in here I don't know it's nice to come in when like hardly anybody's in the building and like there's no kids here and I can actually just sit and get stuff done that I want to get done nothing I like have to get done if that makes sense so I think I'm all planned for this week so I'm looking forward to what's coming up next and that is what I'm going to work on. I also have been posting quite a few things on Teachers Pay Teachers this year so if you're interested in checking some of that out it is always linked in the description box. You can go check it out. I would love to have you visit over there. It's really been a fun hobby for me because it's stuff that I'm already making for my classroom that then I'm sharing on there as well so kind of fun. Um, I'm thinking that maybe this upcoming summer I'm going to focus more on doing that and kind of make it like a part-time job maybe um, but yeah we'll see. So anyways, uh, on the agenda today, I am just going to kind of do whatever I feel like doing. There's nothing I really have to get done, so that's kind of nice. So I'm not really sure what you're going to see today, <laughs> but we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, there it is. I'm kind of out of the habit of vlogging, and so hopefully I remember. I'm just going to carry my camera around with me, I think. So I'll try to show you guys some cool things that we've been doing, but honestly, I feel like lately we've been in like survival mode. So we've been like surviving, not thriving some of the times, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, there hasn't really been anything like super fun and exciting. I actually originally was planning on doing a cl classroom transformation this week and I just could not do it. I could not pull it together. I did not have enough time. And so that's kind of a bummer, but hopefully soon I'll be able to do one maybe next week or something. I don't know, but anyways. Alrighty, so it's 12.30 right now. This is what I'm working on. It is a PowerPoint that I'm working on adding in learning targets, but then also success criteria. We just had a meeting the other day that, oh, there's a bell. <laughs> um, we just had a meeting the other day that talked about how we need to start adding in success criteria, which usually I do like checklists or rubrics, but it's sounding like we're also going to have to start like actually posting our success criteria somewhere. So I thought it would be good to just like add it into my PowerPoints. So I bought some clip art because I was like an excuse to buy clip art. And then I added in some of this. I'm only like right now we're starting unit three tomorrow or probably I guess now on, um, Thursday. So I'm just going through unit three for math right now and going lesson by lesson and adding some different things in. This one I did this side, but I haven't done this side just yet. So anyways, I don't really know exactly. I'm new to the success criteria piece. I've always done like rubrics and checklists and stuff, but I've never actually had like posted 
Uh, success criteria, I was doing like I can statements with the learning target, which is always what I thought I was supposed to be doing, but now we're adding in this like other piece, so I'm not really sure, but that's what I'm working on right now, and I'm just turning it into a Google Doc uh, slideshow and some people have asked me how I do that so what I do is I just copy all of my text from my PowerPoint so I copy that and then I go over to a Google Doc and I just paste it in so that way I can keep all of my fun fonts because otherwise in Google Docs you don't really get that many different options for fonts that you can use you just have these ones and I just don't really like those ones. I'm kind of a font snob, and so I would rather just do it in PowerPoint. And so, yes, I can't edit the font on here, but I can always just go back to my PowerPoint template, and I can change it on here, and that's, like, not a big deal to me. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And then down right here, I'm putting the unit and then the lesson number as well. So that is what I'm working on, and I just made, like, a little template right here. For that that I saved as well um, that's the colorful one on the top and then there's just a black one as well so I'm using my math expressions book to come up with these and yeah I don't know I don't know if it's really a good use of my time but that's what I'm working on and just one of those extra things and then also I'm watching YouTube videos on my iPad this is a youtuber I've really been enjoying recently her name is Sarah Therese it's not focusing I think that's how you say her last name or her, I think that's her middle name. I feel like that's her middle name and not her last name. But anyways, I don't actually know how you say that. But I really like her channel and like her aesthetic. You can tell I've watched like basically every video. <laughs> so anyways, that's who I'm watching right now. And then I'm just working on all of this fun stuff. So it's not really all that fun, but that's what I'm working on. <laughs> Okay, so this is my other project I just worked on. This is what I do during my math intervention time every day while I'm pulling small groups to the back. So each week I create this math focus group paper. Um, it's actually a packet and I have it for four days of the week and then Fridays we either do like a review of what they need or sometimes I'll do like task cards around the room or a game or just whatever I want to do. But Monday through Thursday I do these math focus groups. So I have them in strategic groups with their peers um, that I grew and that change with each unit according to like test scores and formative assessment all that fun stuff so anyways um, I have them fill out the week of and then you can read the directions on the top if you want to but basically there's just a bunch of questions on here when I finish up for the entire year I might try to get this on TPT but for right now I'm just kind of making them as I go so there's four pages they do a page a day and then I do a no write zone where I have like an answer key that they have to check and then they highlight any questions that they get incorrect and they have to go back with their team and figure out what they did incorrectly and they have to figure out like how to solve it and then on Tuesdays and Thursdays we start our day with a quick math warm-up and these are just like review questions mostly from our first unit on place value uh, but then also there are some with like multi-digit multiplication from our second unit uh, and so on and so forth but these are mainly just review questions so that they don't forget how to do these types of problems I really want it to be something that sticks in their brain and that they don't just do it once and then never have to do it again so uh, this is something I'm making every week as well and it's two pages or one page front and back so that is what I just worked on and now I'm going to go ahead and go to the printer and print these out for next week so I can have them ready to go Hello! So I am back home now, as you can most likely tell. <laughs> and I stopped by the store on my way home because I really wanted to bake some cookies. And what I was really craving were those cute little like sugar cookies that have like the little pictures printed on them, if you know what I mean. They have them like for each season or holiday or whatever. So I was all excited, went to the store, and they were literally completely out of all of those like break and make type cookies like the ones where it's already pre-made and you just put them on the sheet they literally didn't have any except for i think they had like a reese's pieces or reese's pieces like peanut butter cup one or something which like not that that would be bad but that would not get me in the christmas spirit you know what i mean so i was kind of bummed so instead i picked up some christmas sprinkles and some hot cocoa mix and now this is what i have going on right here so I have my little Ray Dunn mug, different one than I had this morning for when I had coffee. Two hot beverages in one day, like this literally never happened. So super fun, super exciting. I have my hot cocoa with my fun little 
Christmas sprinkles, which is just super exciting. So I'm gonna drink that a second. And yeah, life is just so good. I feel relaxed and rejuvenated, and like this is basically the first time that I've had any sort of self-care in quite a while, which is, I know, not super good, but I don't know, it feels good to like have it again, you know? So I think right now while I'm watching Criminal Minds, I am going to get that objectives PowerPoint thing posted as a TPT product, at least I'm gonna try to. And I'm gonna try to make it so it's like a template that people could fill in with their own learning objectives and success criteria and like whatever else. So I'm gonna try to work on that a minute and then hopefully post that today because I wanted to post something on TPT today. That was my goal and I haven't yet, so. I think I'm gonna work on that and then I do want to wash my face too. My makeup like turned out really bad today because I bought these magnetic eyelashes that are supposed to work if you put on this like magnetic eyeliner and it did not work at all and the eyeliner was like super clumpy and so it's like all clumpy on my eyes and also I like never wear eyeliner so it just like looks weird I feel like too because my eyelids are like very hooded. I don't know if you can really tell but you know how like most people have like a lot of skin showing on their eyes, but mine like you can't really see my eyelids when my eyes are open. You see what I mean? Anyways, so <laughs> all of that to say, I'm gonna go post that product on TPT. If you're interested, I'll go check it out. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is the next morning now and we do have school, so I'm here bright and early. It's like a little bit past seven right now and um, I am just about ready for my day, but I thought I would go ahead and end this vlog really quickly. I just edited everything up until this point. So thank you guys for sticking with me. Again, I apologize for not putting a video up for like ever, but I am hoping to vlog a little bit more now that I have kind of caught up a little bit and now that, you know, life is going a little bit more smoothly, a little bit more smoothly. <laughs> so anyways, stay tuned and also let me know if there are any specific videos you guys would like to see, any like sit down style videos, and I will try to do those as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember that you are incredibly beautiful and loved, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.